Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, in this video I want to show you some really cool tricks to find anything you want in your Lightroom catalog. I'm going to show you as an example my main Lightroom catalog which has over 190,000 photography from over 15 years and how I search photos that were like shot 10 years ago or 11 years ago. Let's do it. All right, mesdames and messieurs, so this is my actual Lightroom catalog that has 192,553 photos. It's to me, I have several catalogs, but that's the main one. There's 15 years of photography there, and I want to show you how I find stuff pretty quick. And if you've got better tips, just leave a comment below tell me how you find stuff on Lightroom. Also, don't forget to like this video and leave me a comment. I do two videos per week and love to hear what you want to learn. Okay, so tip number one, is use the sensei feature so you press command f and i can type for example you know like red sky and the sensei is basically uh, artificial intelligence that's going to look through your photos for red sky now i'll be honest with you uh, i don't think i really found a good photo using this technique it's it's okay or uh, you know i can type like paris sunset or and it's just based on you know sort of an engine it's going to kind of look for something or I can, you know, type forest, for example. And uh, even if the word forest is not in the photo, it's going to find it. Now, I kind of like that, but I don't use that so much. What I do use, though, is here is search with text, but actual text, like a file name. Like I know I gave like a I put HDR, for example, in the file name that the option I will use, you know, and because I know it has, you know, the HDR word into the file names or something. This eventually I will use. But what I use the most is metadata. You see, when you press command F, you have also this menu. The first one is text. The second one is attribute. I don't use that much. So much attribute is like if you give it a three star, if you give it a label. But metadata is awesome it is really what I I think it's the power user trick I want to give you. So metadata, every time you take a photo, it you know the date is written on it, what kind of camera and what kind of lenses. So for example, like let's say I remember I shot something with my Sony a 7 r 3 with an 85 millimeter 1.4 in January. So I can click to January. I've got to make sure that this is empty because it's going to look for photos in January that has the word HDR in it. So I'm going to take that out. And now you'll see January has now 194 photos, okay? Here you see it says there is a rating of one, so I'm going to take that out. So now there is, in January 2019, there is 476 photos. Okay, so 476 photos, but I remember that I shot this with my, uh, let's say, Sony A7R2 with my 1224, and boom, I only have the photos from January, and, and it's kind of really cool. Like, say, for example, May. I go to May. This one, I want the Sony A7R3, and I only want the, um, for example, well, I can see what lens I used, so the 24-240, for example, and I'm only going to get that. Plus, I only want the photo that has one star and above with that, because if you follow my video, you know I have this workflow where I give a one star to a photo that I think has potential. So I don't know if there is one in, uh, in May. Yes, there is. So now all these photos, which is 235, have one star. Now, three stars is like my best work. So three stars is going to give me my best work in May using the Sony A7R 3 you know, and using that lens. You know, it's kind of really cool. And that's really the best way I find. The next one you can do is search with folders. So let's say you have a folder that says, I don't know, that says like uh, Venice, for example. And if you type that, it's going to show you on all your hard drive any photo any folder that has a Venice folder in it okay so that's kind of cool also I use a system and that's just me but I use a system where I have an, a Dropbox Unlimited it's kind of expensive $75 per month but in that Dropbox Unlimited I have a folder called Photo La Total means like all my photos and then I break it down so you have for example Photo USA and then I'm gonna have like Los Angeles and then beaches and then Venice Beach and that's how I organize myself you know but with the search by folder you only get the folder where the Venice word in, uh, and that's the actual folder on all your hard drive. The next best way I find, so let me erase that, because the next best way I find, and the last way, is collections. Collections are awesome. I have so many collections, and I do collection sets. So, for example, I have a collection set, which is basically a folder that has collection. So, I've got a collection set called Portfolio, and in that one, I have other collections set like Italy and in that one I have like Cinque Terre, 
Florence, Tuscany, you know, Venice best. And this is like my best, best, best ever photo uh, for this. And if I just want to get my best photo of Cinque Terre, I go straight here and I have them right away. Same thing here, you know, um, Los Angeles. I've got my best photo of Los Angeles there. And I like to use collection set and collections to organize my work and have all my best work there. Now, a new option just came out last week from Adobe, which I think is awesome, which is the ability to label your best collection. So for example, I always go to my Paris and my new Los Angeles collection, like all the time, because it's got my best Paris work, my best Los Angeles work. I also always go to uh, my Los Angeles books, you know, like the final book photos. I always go to like uh, all my books, basically my New York book, uh, you know, all the final photos. And what you can do now, you see there is a little red here. Well, how do you do that? Well, I can go to San Francisco. I only have three photos, but I'm going to right click and add a color label to collection and I'm going to call it red. So it's a very visual help where you can just jump directly to a collection that you really like and it's really fast. Now, let's say you just want to deal with your best of the best of the best. You can filter here by label collections. And now instead of seeing all your collections, you're going to see just the ones which are labeled and the ones which are labeled hopefully are the best. And that's how when I prepare things for the press or for tutorials, that's kind of where I go because this is my best of my best. Okay, so I hope these tips really helped you a lot. Now, check out this video I did a while back, which is my 10 best rule for epic landscape.